introducing Claude Haiku 4.5. So Claude just launched this model, which has a pretty interesting SWE bench verified score, ranking fifth in the LLM leaderboard for builders. But honestly, from my tests and from what basically everyone is saying out there, it really doesn't seem to be the best model for you to code. But while reading its system card, I feel like Cloud Haiku 4.5 was not made for you to be using as what's going to help you build the system, but actually use it as the API to run your system. So one huge example is the Cloud extension that is now using Haiku 4.5, just because it's faster, it's cheaper, and it's much, much safer than all the other models. I've been using this extension for a while now, and an issue we used to have is it being slow. With Haiku 4.5, I've just noticed it being much, much faster. So yeah, before anything else, I don't think this is a model to try to replace the 4.5 Sonet or GPT-5 Codex or any of those. But let's take a look at some of its benchmarks comparing with the Claude Sonet 4.5. In the pricing comparison, you'll notice that the input price is one third of Claude Sonet 4.5. And as for outputs, it's like $12 cheaper. And for the output as well, $5, one third of what Claude Sonet 4.5 was, placing it $12 cheaper. And considering that for agentic coding or vibe coding, you end up spending a lot of input tokens, then I believe they would probably try to make this even cheaper if they were aiming towards having this being used by developers. As for the benchmarks, the only one Cloud Sonet 4.5 loses is this one right here, AIM E2025. Now there's another kind of benchmark that some people use, which is X.com to see what other people think about that model while they're testing it on their own. But I feel like it's either too much hype saying that it designs websites much better than Cloud 4.5 or better than GPT-5 and everything. But honestly, the right way to test these models would be to actually reproduce the same prompt across a lot of different tests many, many, many different times and not just a single attempt to build a UI design or something of such. This wasn't necessarily true some months ago when we had models with a huge difference between them. But now most models can reach nearly the same result with the same prompt. You'll probably only see the difference while you're working with it along the day. Claude eventually posted this in their profile. Sonet 4.5 remains the best coding model in the world. Haiku 4.5 gives you near frontier performance with greater cost efficiency. Use them together. Sonet can build multi-step plans, then orchestrate a team of haikus to complete subtasks in parallel. While reading this, I immediately thought of the model as a alternative for people who don't want to waste all their tokens with Cloud Sonnet 4.5. But if someone were to tell me that that's their issue, I just recommend they use GPT-5 Codex instead. But then again, while reading their system card, I kind of disagree with their approach of focusing this towards builders or even comparing it with Cloud Sonnet 4.5. I sent both system cards, so Cloud Sonnet 4.5 as well as Claude Haiku 4.5 over to Claude and asked it to compare the two models so that I could show you guys the, the core difference between them. At first, it brought me a bunch of comparisons with Haiku 3.5, at which eventually I told it to remove anything surrounding Sonet 3.5. I actually meant Haiku 3.5, but yeah, no one cares about 3.5. And then eventually, we got some pretty fair comparisons. So overall safety, you get Haiku placed at a really like slightly uh, difference, which doesn't really matter. Then down in the political bias, you'll notice Sonet 4.5 is still better, but eventually we get to the safety measures, at which Haiku 4.5 performs with 100% safety score for malicious use. For prompt injection, Haiku 4.5 scores a 92.4% against 82.6% from Sonet 4.5. That is nearly a 10% improvement, which is pretty good. In the attack prevention score for both MCP and tool usage, Haiku 4.5 performed better as well. And finally, in the shade arena, when it's not a thinking model, Haiku performs much better than Cloud Sonnet 4.5. From the system card, it seems like the thinking model from Haiku isn't that good. But with thinking disabled, it's much, much safer, which again makes it a pretty solid model for making chatbots or just extension like these that needs to be pretty safe. But still, if you want to use Cloud Code as your agent and you want to use a more cheaper model, you can go for GLM 4.6 or just use the Haiku model, which does have some better benchmark scores. To make Cloud Code use the Haiku model, just slash model, select that, then select Haiku, hit enter. And now if you do a slash status, hit enter, 
you'll see Haiku as the model that your Claude code is now using. Now, since for nearly every video, I try to build something different for this one, let's build a YouTube outlier finder. And it's different from the one that I created previously, because now we're going to use the TubeLab API. This video isn't sponsored at all. I have an affiliate link down below, which gives you a 20% discount if you want to use it. But basically TubeLab allows you to go in there, find a specific niche, and maybe try to create your own channel. And this doesn't have to do with some shady AI slop produced content, but rather really allowing you to understand the demand and offer around a specific topic. The other day I was talking to a friend that he needs some money and I was, okay, you can actually produce real value for people with some styles of videos like this one. This, this is a channel in Brazil that is earning around two to 5K dollars per month. And its oldest video was five months ago. It's really just some footage with some AI voice giving out some pretty useful information around cars in Brazil. But yeah, I didn't want to extend the video by nerding around about this topic, but you, you have things like this real time uh, feature here where you can check out all the trending titles and just get more exposure. So the thing about TubeLab is that they launched a developer's page that you can get over clicking right here create an API key for yourself. So mine will be YouTube test, hit create API key. Now, before really doing anything else, let me instruct Haiku to create a Next.js project. So create a Next.js project using the latest version, please. This should be pretty fast. Actually, I just paused it to add inside of this folder so that it doesn't create another folder to work inside of it. Something I do expect from Haiku while building something is speed. It should ideally build things much, much faster. And yeah, this is a really simple task, but I feel like it was indeed much faster than even Claude 4.5. But let's see if it runs. If it doesn't, I'll be very disappointed because this is really, really basic. Okay, that that's fine. Now is kind of the tough part. Let's add an environment variable here. This environment variable will be tube lab API. Let me place that in. And now let's head back to the documentation for tube lab, grab this document right here. This should give all the instructions over for Claude code to know anything around how to build with tube lab. Let me copy everything and create a tube lab instructions txt and just paste everything in here. My prompt is pretty simple. Just Check the tubelab instructions.txt to understand how to implement using tubelab. My.env is tubelab API. Just create in the main page a way for me to type in a query and it will fetch all of the similar outliers, showing a neat card for each video. Then finally, use ShadCN components. Pretty simple. This should give it all the context it needs to build what I need. And mainly, I think in one shot, it should be able to handle this. But what I am really looking at is the speed at which it will build this. I'm pretty used to building things in both Claude Sonnet 4.5 and in GPT-5 Codex. So let's see what we get with this one. It's been already like 30 seconds, but let me start a timer right now. Okay, two minutes. Yeah, two minutes and 30 or like around that. But let's see if it actually created something useful. <laughs> yeah, this is probably because we have to restart this. Not an issue from Haiku. All right, search outliers. Let's see AI automation, hit search. Let's see if it's successfully using TubeLab. It seems like it didn't use TubeLab correctly. Now this can be a problem from TubeLab. So let's check that in a bit. Let me copy the markdown from the similar outliers page and paste it over here. Let me also just send a print screen of this. And all I mentioned was that it's wrong since it's returning empty data. And apparently it actually found the issue. Just restarted everything. Let's type in AI automation, hit enter. And there it is. Wow, that, that was actually pretty fast. So some of these don't have thumbnails because they are shorts probably. Yeah. So at the end of the day, if pricing is an issue for you, if you want to get the most out of the cheapest model possible, I just go with GLM 4.6. If you're willing to spend a bit more, I just go with GPT-5 Codex. And if you're building chatbots and want a secure LLM that won't be tricked by invaders nor prompt injections, I'd definitely go with Haiku 4.5 for now. Leave a like if this helped you at all. Consider subscribing for more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Till then.